Why are some rivers naturally fizzy like soda water? Volcanoes and deep faults feed carbon dioxide into groundwater, and the aquifer holds that gas under pressure. Springs then feed rivers, and the sudden drop in pressure frees bubbles that race to the surface. Rock type matters too. When rain comes down, which is slightly acidic, it dissolves limestone rocks, which means there are more pathways for gassy water to escape from aquifers into rivers. Rivers also fizz when microbes in muddy beds create methane. Methane pushes through the sediment and flow, and those bubbles appear on the surface. Almost 200 years ago, Oregon Trail migrants found naturally carbonated water at Hooper Springs, and they made simple bubbly sodas by mixing it with a little syrup in cups. Also in 1937, some drillers in Soda Springs pierced a pressurized carbonated aquifer and a jet shot about 100 feet high. The town now runs that captive geyser on a timer each hour. So, are you thinking of making soda in your backyard? It might be safer to go to the store.